Hey everyone, this is Linnea Lucan from the Heartland Institute, here with another quick climate fact check. In this video, I'm going to discuss the gap between popular climate model temperature outputs and actual temperatures measured by various sources. Activists and the mainstream media often claim that world temperatures have dramatically increased over time because of human-caused climate change, a situation they call dangerous and that will get worse over time without immediate action. They most often reference computer model projections of climate to support this claim, like those used by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change and many other research bodies attempting to do global temperature forecasting. The most recent version of these models is called CMIP6. The problem is, these models do not accurately reflect real measured temperatures. They run way too hot. The rate of warming that is measured using technologies including satellite temperature measurements, radio sonde weather balloon temperature measurements, and surface temperature measurements show much more modest warming than the models suggest. Peer-reviewed research by climatologist Dr. John Christie indicate that the recent warming has been less than half of that indicated by the model's median temperature when you compare them between now and back forecasting to 1975. Other recent studies published in Nature also confirm that there is a hot model problem. There is a clear divergence between modeling and real-world temperatures, strongly suggesting that there are fundamental flaws with either the hypothesis of human-induced warming, assumptions about climate sensitivity to greenhouse gas emissions and ecological feedback mechanisms, or both, which inform those models. As such, we should be careful not to overstate their usefulness. They are unverified, and as a result, their projections should not be relied upon to inform climate policy. If their present and historic temperature outputs are wrong, then their future projection of temperatures should not be trusted. That's all I have for this fact check. For the sources used as references in this video, you can check out climateataglance.com, where you can also download a free copy of the book Climate at a Glance for Teachers and Students. If you prefer paper, you can purchase a hard copy on Amazon. We also have an app available called Climate at a Glance for Android and iPhone. Thanks for watching.